hello everyone in this video i will demonstrate how to do uh, date calculations uh, using excel data model so let's get started here uh, let me go ahead and create a let's say i'm going to create a folder here I'll create one Excel file here. Okay, so first what I'm going to do is uh, import my database uh, let me show you the, the database here that i'm going to use that's facility services i will open it up for you uh, it has this many tables customer employee location price product master Transaction table is kind of a fact table and all of the tables are kind of a dimension table. So you can look at the relationship. This is very much like a star schema. You have all these dimensions, employee, customer, location, product, price master, and then this is the fact table, which is the transaction table, the main table that records all the transactions. So you can go through the different relationship. So what we're gonna do here is we would like to import this data into Excel uh, using data model and try to summarize the data by, let's say, you know, sales by month, year, or quarter and see how it goes. So I'm gonna close this here. So I will go to Power Pivot here, uh, Manage here from database access. I'm gonna to browse to that database here, say next here. This will not only import the tables, but it will also import all the relationship along with these tables because we already have defined those relationship in MS Access database. So they will be imported as is, okay. So I will quickly go to the diagram view here. And as you see, uh, this test comment is not related to any table, but all other tables are related. And you can see that those relationships are already established here. So we don't need to worry about this thing, but whenever you create a data model, this is the first thing you have to do. After you import any table, you would like to come to this diagram view here and create the relationship. You can create the relationship by just dragging. For example, let's say I will delete this one here. Okay, and then I'm gonna customer number, I'm gonna drag it onto the customer number here, and it's gonna create the relationship. So this is how you create the relationship. It is if it is not already there. Okay. So I'm here, Let's. Uh, what I will do is go to the pivot table here. I will put in the existing sheet here because this is all empty here. Enable the contents. And I would like to quickly create what we call a simple table. Let's say in the transaction table, I have service date and sales amount. Okay. Now let's say I want to group this data by month or year. So in a typical pivot table, you could right click and then you can go to the group and do it there. But since this is based on data model, you don't see any grouping feature here. And this is a big problem. So there is a workaround for this and that's what we're gonna work on. What I would like to do is I will go to the power pivot uh, menu here and I'll go to the transition table here. We'll create a bunch of calculated field based on the service date. So I'll say here, let's say 
service underscore month number so here what i'm going to do here equals month that's a function and i'll click on the service date here so that's going to give me the month number here let's say i'm going to say service underscore month so here what i'm going to do here i'm going to use format table here and what I'm going to do here I would like to use service date okay and I will look for my date to MMM which is gonna give me three character month name so I have all those month name here and here let's go ahead and add service Quarter so here I'm gonna say let's say ceiling function ceiling or uh, say service date I want to round it up to three uh, decimal or uh, three up to three uh you know number for example so if it is one or two or three it will always be rounded up to three and if it is three four four five six four five six will be rounded to six so we're gonna see that here okay Why this is not working here? This is service. Ah, uh -huh. not the service date. I need to use the month. I'm sorry for that. So that's gonna be my month number. This is what I want to round it up to three. So if this month number is one, two, or three, it will be rounded up to three. So it's like one, two, and three will be rounded to three. Starting four is will be rounded to six. Four, five, and six will be rounded to six. Seven, eight, nine, and will be rounded to nine. And so forth. And that does not make any sense because quarter has to be one through four. So what we're gonna do here need to do is be divided by three here to get it to get the correct uh, quarters. Okay, so you can do the year here, say so this year. And these are all called calculated fields. So once you do this, it's, it will be, it will become very easy to analyze the data. So here I'm gonna say year square parenthesis service date and then give me the years okay here what i can do is i can also create something called service year quarter and this could be a nice calculated field that will based on concatenation of some fields here so i'm going to say here let's say i want to use service year okay and i'm going to concatenate this with this field here and service year and then the six service quarter okay so this will create a nice concatenated field here like this this will be much easier to analyze okay so with this done i will okay, i will go back to my original here now i don't need service date because once you drop this one down you can see that you have all those additional calculated fields which you just did it here and one thing you might have noticed here is this this line here that divides the the test comment table from other table because test comments is not related to any table if you see in the data model 
So that's why that's being put separate, but all these tables are related uh, in the data model. So if the tables are related, they will be part of one group. If it is not, then you'll see such dividing lines here. Now, I don't want service date here, but I can use any of this uh, fields. Let's say service month. So we get the summarization by month. But this is a problem here because by default, this is sorted in the ascending order of the of the letters. But we don't want that. We want January, February, March, April. So what I'm, what we can do here is I'll go back to Power Pivot menu here. And we can sort this table. So you click on this cell here, sort by, I'm going to say sort by month number. Let's say we have here month service month number and say okay and that should do the trick and if you go back here now you see january february march april otherwise you can use any other one for example i can use uh, service year quarter so it's going to do quarterly sale by year for that particular month or you can do the yearly sale and within yearly sale you can have quarterly sale so that is also doable here. So this is pretty cool feature here once you do the calculated fill. So the the whole purpose of here was, you know, it's always beneficial to do some of the calculated fields. Make sure that, you know, those calculated fields basically related to dates, month, quarter, year, they should be done mostly in fact table. Uh, you can also do it in another table if there is a need. So you need to justify the purpose of doing those calculations either way whenever you are dealing with the dates it's always recommended to create your own calculated field with this uh, i will stop my lecture video here thank you very much for listening